Welcome to lesson 2.3 on integers, and this time we're going to use models to divide integers. Now remember, 2.1 was using models to multiply integers where you put in and took out things out of the bank. Models, or sorry, 2.2 was trying to get you to come up with some ideas where when the signs are the same, it's a positive answer, multiply the numbers. When the signs are different, it's a negative answer, multiply, multiply the numbers. Now we're going to go into the dividing side. Now, dividing integers, to be honest with you, it's really, really complicated. It's not easy. Some of them are easy to follow. Others will just bend your mind. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show it to you so that you can see how it works. But in the end, we're going to go strictly symbolic when it comes to division. We're not going to worry about drawing models for dividing. Okay, so here's the first one. You need to divide a positive by a, nugget, a negative, sorry, divide a positive 9 by a positive 3. So you need to find out how many steps of positive 3 it takes to make positive 9. And you can see there that I had taking 3 groups of 3. So that means that it's going to end up being positive 3. 3 groups of 3. The next one. What about negative 9? Okay. So now it's a negative negative 3 is backwards, so, so sorry, it's the step size, but it's going negative, so you're going to walk backwards. So you start at 0, and you want to find out how many negative 3s it takes to make negative 9. We know that that is 3 groups. Okay? Now, dividing a negative by a positive. We need to find out how many steps of positive 3 it takes us to get to negative 9. So here's the problem. The step size is positive 3. That's positive, so walk forward. Start at 0. And to end up negative 9, we took 3 steps. So that means that negative 9 divided by positive 3 is negative 3. And here's the other one, positive by negative. You need to divide, find out how many steps of negative 3 it takes us to get to positive 9. The step size is negative 3, so walk backwards. Start at 0, and to end up with positive 9, you took 3 steps backwards. So we're facing the negative end of the line, so your answer is negative 3. Okay? Now, you probably have noticed that the way you, sh the sh the way you face, the way you walk, all determines what your answers are. But I want you to look at the, the, the final statement here. Let's list these questions with their answers so you get an idea of just what you actually accomplished when you did these questions. So here we go. Let's take a look at the first one. We said that a positive 9 divided by a positive 3 is equal to a positive 3. We said that a negative 9 divided by a negative 3 is equal to a positive 3. We said that a negative 9 divided by a positive 3 is equal to a negative 3. And we said that a positive 9 divided by a negative 3 is a negative 3. What do you notice? If you don't see it, just look at the signs. The signs rules are the same as multiplication. Sign rules are the same as multiplication. Okay, so how does that work out? Signs are the same. It means your quotient, which is the answer of a dividing question, the quotient is positive. If the signs are different, that means your quotient, the answer to the question, is the quotient. I'm getting in trouble here quotient is negative. Okay? So, taking a look at that, you should notice it's exactly the same as your multiplication questions. Okay? Let's use this as a real example. The temperature was negative 35 degrees in Sedgwick. It warmed up by 5 degrees each hour. Okay? Using the number line, how many groups of negative 5 does it take to get to zero? This is why I don't want you doing this, okay? I want you to take a look at this and see if you can come up with the answer 
without having to use the number line and all that kind of stuff. Okay? So, we get negative 35. Okay? How many groups of negative 5 does it take to get to 0? Now, remember, you're in negatives because you're going from negative 35 up to, um, to 0. So, we're going to divide that by negative 5. Well, a negative divided by a negative is positive. Signs are the same. 35 divided by 5 is 7, so it takes 7 groups. So using all the number line stuff and the steps and forward is actually a pain in the butt. So we're not going to do it. How about this one? Bob has traveled down a mine shaft 120. Well, if he travels downward, that's a negative 120, isn't it? Okay. And he's going at a rate of 20 meters per minute. So he's going down 20 meters per minute. So what is the expression going to be to find out how many, uh, how long it'll take him? So I want to know how many groups of negative 20 it takes to get 100, negative 120. So your expression is 120, being negative, divided by negative 20. And you knew the answer. So here we go. The answer is, let's write the question down here. The signs are the same. Positive. Positive. 120 divided by 20, 6. So, it takes him 6 minutes to reach the surface. Or, sorry, to get down. Any questions? Complete the questions. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure whether I assigned this in the, in the classroom or we just went on to other stuff. I don't want you drawing uh, the number lines and stuff with the negative division and positive division. So anyway, well, we'll see you in the next lesson, 2.3.